Needless to say, whether it was the original Apple iPod released in 2001 or the revolutionary iPhone released in 2007, Apple products have not only commanded the highest prices, but the brand has continued to inspire fanaticism among fans year after year. And fast forward to today, and 2021 is no different. Originally reported way back in 2014, Reuters confirmed that Apple had assigned workers to a secret project called Project Titan. Little was known about the project at that point, but it was confirmed in 20. 2018 that as many as 5,000 Apple employees were working on Project Titan. Also in 2018, Apple partnered with Volkswagen to produce the autonomous driving T6 transporter. And by the end of that year, the BBC reported that Apple had registered 66 driverless cars on the road. From 2018 until today, there have been a plethora of news reports about Apple's soon-to-be-released visionary transportation product. Would it be dubbed the Apple Car or simply the iCar? Would it be released by 2024? Will it be able to compete with Tesla? Stay tuned to find out the answer to all of these questions and more. At this point, it's safe to say that electric vehicles are the next big leap in the auto industry, thanks to brands like Tesla and vehicles like the Nissan Leaf and GMC Hummer EV. If you'd like to see our take on the GMC Hummer EV, go ahead and click on the link in the upper right hand corner. Now back to the show. Tesla is, of course, the biggest competitor for any future Apple car, but Apple will surely have to factor in competition by Nissan, GM, Ford, and many other smaller EV brands that might exist when Apple releases their car. However, this shouldn't deter them much as Apple currently has over $200 billion in cash on hand for the project giving them a huge advantage over the competition in terms of research and development. In fact, with $200 billion in cash, the Apple car could quickly overshadow all conversations about Tesla in the near future. Multiple sources have confirmed that Apple is in talks with Hyundai as a possible manufacturing partner for the production of the iCar itself. But perhaps even more importantly, Apple has had numerous discussions with manufacturers of self-driving car sensors known as LiDAR sensors, which stands for Light Detection and Ranging. These LiDAR sensors make it possible to locate the vehicle anywhere in the world as well as track objects around the vehicle's immediate vicinity, making driverless navigation possible and safe. Rather than developing the technology themselves, themselves, Apple is most likely planning a possible acquisition of a LiDAR-based sensor manufacturer. In fact, Apple is already using the LiDAR technology on some of its existing iPhone models for low-light photography. I guess if your iPhone can see at night, then your iCar can too. One of the biggest challenges currently plaguing the EV industry is how to develop new battery technologies that are low maintenance, high performance, and long lasting. In fact, the automobile's battery cost is the primary factor and the purchase price of any new EV. As of today, nickel manganese cobalt batteries dominate the EV market and prevailing geopolitical issues, unforeseen events like COVID and other factors impact the development of these batteries. Even so, the EV industry is predicted to grow to 23 million vehicles in use by 2030. In fact, multiple countries and cities have announced plans to ban internal combustion engines in the next 10 to 30 years. We can safely assume that adoption of electric vehicles and advancement in battery technology is inevitable. But one of the most important factors to note is that EV batteries are generally not serviceable and they degrade over time. Due to this, there is generally no way to recycle modern EV car batteries as the cost of recycling batteries is much higher than the mining costs to produce them. There are also safety issues to consider with EV batteries. We've all heard about cell phones catching on fire due to faulty batteries, so we cannot really blame regulators for being overcautious when entire families will be transported inside a closed car solely powered by batteries. EV manufacturers are definitely taking this into consideration and going out of their way to implement as many additional safety measures as possible to keep riders safe. These safety measures could mean lower performance and higher production costs. Improving battery performance, reducing capacity loss, and increasing safety measures may not be the only hurdle the EV industry faces. There are other aspects like charging infrastructure and government support that also play a vital part in the evolution of the EV industry. So. How will Apple differentiate the Apple Car? For starters, the Apple Car will most likely utilize monocell batteries. This new battery design aims to drastically bring down the cost of batteries, hopefully making EVs more affordable for the average consumer. But of course, there are skeptics. Many people on Twitter are constantly tweeting about how the idea of a power-packed monocell is like looking for Shangri-La. It simply does not exist. But these contentions are only fueling the legend of Project Titan. A radically new battery design could potentially be a premium selling point for the Apple iCar. 
What's more, should Apple crack the code on how to manufacture monocell batteries, they would also free up plenty of space within the car to make the design sleeker and more aerodynamic. The challenge of finding the perfect battery designs for the EV market has led to a virtual cottage industry of companies focusing on building reusable and easily replaceable batteries. In fact, Chinese automaker NIO has already released a battery swapping plan where EV owners can cruise into fueling stations and instead of waiting 20 to 40 minutes to recharge their batteries, they can just replace the old battery with the new one and continue on with their travel within a matter of minutes. Will the Apple car venture into the battery swapping EV business model or will they stick to the traditional battery charging EV business model? Today, it takes about 20 minutes to charge a Tesla battery up to 50%. So we know that whatever Apple intends to do, they will need to get their EV out of the fueling station at least as quick as Tesla. It probably goes without saying that the Apple car will no doubt have self-driving capabilities. In fact, the iCar might even be designed to have minimal human intervention. Judging from their previous partnership with Volkswagen and Hyundai, the initial Apple car may be used for food delivery or as robot taxis long before being rolled out as personal use vehicles. Oh, and what about Siri? When the Apple car is finally rolled out for personal use, our beloved Siri will be there to help us navigate, monitor our speed, and change our driving destinations. All while we comfortably relax in the driver's seat. The company has had elite product development teams across the world working on hack-proof autonomous driving software since 2014. And with this top-notch driving software, we can certainly expect the roads to become a safer place. And regular manual drivers of the Apple car will most likely be under monitoring by an eye-based camera feature currently being tested by many EV manufacturers. We can expect Apple to take this iCam to the next level. Maybe the Apple iCam will deactivate the manual drive mode and take a disorderly driver to their home or a dizzy driver to the hospital immediately. Oh, and if you're curious about the price, experts are currently speculating that the Apple car will retail at about $75,000. While that does seem like a lot, compared to other EVs currently being released, this price tag seems well within reason. So what do you think about the Apple car? Are you ready to buy one as soon as they are available? Let us know in the comments below. Oh, and if you'd like to see another innovative video, be sure to check this one out.